I'm Stephen Agron, a managing director with Karl Marx Advisors. Today we're going to discuss the conundrum that has become retail. In the first half of 2017, we've already seen 21 bankruptcies in the peril retail chain. Therefore, we can only assume that that number will grow over the next number of months. So what's happened to retail? The industry has overexpanded. With population growing by 14% in the 25 years, retail space has grown by 30%. Right now, we have simply too much retail space. What exacerbated the problem over the last number of years is that buying went to the web. E-commerce now represents 11% of all purchases. So in an industry that is hypersensitive and hyper-focused on low cost, margins have been squeezed. Taking 10% of volume out of a retail store has made that store go from profitable to unprofitable. This is permeating throughout the industry. The only way that this is going to change is reducing the amount of retail space in the marketplace. Stores are going to have a smaller footprint. There are going to be fewer of them. Over the next number of years, you will see a mass decrease in the amount of foot traffic and space in retail. The anticipation right now is that e-commerce will increase to 30 to 50 percent of the total retail buy by 2030. We can expect to see a commensurate drop in the amount of retail space in that same time. The stores you see right now will drop by 30 to 50 percent. This will put a lot of pressure on landlords as they've tried to find out how to reposition and repurpose the retail space. So one of the questions is how does retail deal with a shrinking market? Retailers are going to have to figure out how to differentiate themselves. You can't just be a store with product in it. You need to create a much better experience for the retail buyer, especially the millennial buyer who is now requiring omni-channel purchasing. They want to buy online, they want to buy by stepping into stores. The millennial buyer is what the retailer is going to have to accommodate. Making the buying experience more enjoyable is going to be a challenge for every retailer if they hope to survive.